You can plug in at your friend's house, you can plug in at the coffee shop, you can plug, there's a plug right there, 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 there. There's plugs everywhere. You can't buy one from one of the major automakers, but in West New York, you can see one built by high school students. An electric car with a decent range that can keep up with highway traffic. I never thought we could make a whole car move just powering by, by batteries instead of gas, and we're doing it. Technology teacher Ron Grossinger has been working with his class since January to convert an ordinary Volkswagen Cabriolet into an electric car. They took out the gas engine and radiator and inserted an electric motor and speed controller and 12 lead-acid batteries. Two go there, five go there, five go in the front, 12 total, 144 volts. A core group of students has put in long hours making custom parts and getting the car ready for its first gas-free drive. They had help from Grossinger, who learned how to build electric cars last summer during a two-week program in San Diego. He says this car will go up to 70 miles an hour with a 40-mile range, enough for most people's daily driving. You don't drive more than, more than 30 or 40 miles in a day is the average. So why would you need a car that's capable of 350 miles? Grossinger likes electric cars for their efficiency and environmental benefits. They don't produce harmful emissions like gas cars. He'd like to see his students come away from the project more confident and more willing to question the status quo. I think it's amazing. It's awesome. It really expands my knowledge now. It's pretty cool. I want to do this like in the future. Being an auto tech teacher like Mr. G.